America is an incredibly diverse country. As a matter of fact, in many communities, minorities make up the majority of the population. Strong teams are made up of a diverse set of individuals with diverse backgrounds and diverse opinions. This diversity of thought creates better decisions and allows a company to better serve a diverse community. There are no easy steps in creating an inclusive workplace. As a matter of fact, we as human beings, we're all biased. We all have a biased toward a viewpoint and we all have an internal bias that we must all confront. Let me illustrate this with two stories. When I was a manager, I was just beginning out, I was hiring a phlebotomist who was going to be a part of my team. I, I interviewed four or five different individuals and I hired one individual. He turned out to be a horrible hire and it, a couple months later I had to let him go. As I was reflecting back on why I made such a horrible hire, I realized that this individual reminded me a lot of my father. This bias prevented me from hiring the best person possible for the job. The second story that I have to share is, uh, was recounted by a magazine article from Fortune magazine, of, and it was a story about Bernard Tyson, the CEO of Kaiser Permanente, who is African American. He, he oversees over 180,000 employees in his company. And he recounts a story in the article in the Fortune magazine about a time in 1992 when he was asked to lead a hospital in Santa Rosa, California. It was the IT hospital. He was very excited to be, to be leading the hospital. However, his physician partner, Dr. Richard Stein, was not very happy about it. As a matter of fact, Dr. Stein, who was an elderly white gentleman, was he and Bernard Tyson constantly fought and there was a lot of tension. And finally, it, the situation came to head one day when uh, Dr. Stein asked Bernard Tyson to go on a walk with him. And it made the realization for Bernard Tyson realize that many Americans do not have the framework on how to deal and work with people of a different background. And from that conversation, it was an inflection point and Bernard Tyson and Dr. Stein began to create a great relationship. Dr. Stein had the courage to confront his bias and to actually openly talk about it. Awareness of our biases and the courage to confront them are, is the key to the making an inclusive workplace. Just like what Dr. Stein did and what I try to continue to do in my hiring practices.